I was going through my books and trying to decide which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to donate uh, to people. I've got a couple of students that are single moms and cannot really afford anything right now. And this book, I have been intending on doing a video uh, for actually doing some tarot. Cause I actually did say a long time ago that I was going to do this, but I really wasn't sure what I should do. Upon pulling out the books, this book here fell out on the floor, and I'm going to show you where it landed. Uh, towards the back. It landed right here on self-improvement. And what do you think the number of the page is? 222. So I'm like, okay, now I'm getting cold chills actually talking about it right now. So I'm on the right track. So I'm actually going to be doing a video um, doing this. Um, and I, you guys are actually going to be joining me and, and watching me do this. So that way, if you want to do some self-improvements, you can. Um, what I did, instead of using um, tarot cards, um, I actually use... Um, we've got a machine. Uh, we've got a printer that actually scans and prints. So I've used my Egyptian cards. And I've actually printed off um, the cards because I'm actually going to burn them. I'm actually going to uh, use them for uh, uh, basically what I'm asking for. On the back, I've actually written some stuff uh, on the back. Uh, there's some uh, angelic writing there. Then I think I've got... Uh, I'm asking the door to be opened for any type of knowledge. Um, there is uh, uh, Magi writing, and there is, no, that's Theban and Angelic. So this is some stuff that I'm asking for. Uh, you can actually pretty much, I'll explain what the cards actually mean. Uh, here in just a minute because I want to get everything set up and squared away here. So I guess I will be back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, so I've had my ritual bath. Um, I've actually smudged the living room and actually I've got a little bit of a, a salt circle around the table. Um, I've got some incense lit and I've got some candles lit. Um, I probably have my working altar candle here in my cauldron. I'm going to show you what uh what the the cards are first off um this is the layout that the card should be it actually has to do with the wheel of change and so i'm actually going to show you first one is the magician second one is uh temperance third one is chariot Fourth one is strength. Fifth one is high priestess. Sixth one is judgment. And the seventh one is the world. If you're going to do what I've done and actually make some copies of some cards, this one here, the magician, represents the tools that you already have at your disposal. Um, you're asking for other ways to use the tools that you have or other information. So um, with this one here, uh, my little affirmation is I am the creator of my life. I honor my mind, body, and spirit. So that would be the first one. Second one is the temperance. I asked the universe to help with balance in my life, and I wrote the two things out that I want uh, to have balance for. Uh, one of them was love, and I think the other one was strength. The chariot has to do with traveling, um, going places, doing things, kind of going out and seeing the world. I really didn't have anything to put on the back of this, so I just left it as opening up doors to other possibilities. Uh, the strength one... I asked for uh, strength, 
health and uh, I think it was love, protection. One of those, I don't remember, so um, I asked for emotional strength, physical strength, and spiritual strength. That's what that was. Uh, five, um, the high priestess. Uh, this one here, my affirmation for the back of this is I open my inner universe to the divine of the Christ consciousness that I am Alpha, Omega, Yin, and Yang. So this is me accepting my light and my dark side. Judgment aspect. Uh, what did I put for judgment? I just actually did a uh, spiral, um, one going one direction, one going the other way, and then the elements. Uh, whatever needs to be done with judgment, I'm leaving it up to the universe to decide. And the final outcome, which would be the world, this is the final outcome of what you're asking for. And with this one, um, happy, healthy, humble, and content is what I asked for. So, with that in mind, um, I'd actually charged my crystal, I left it out in the sun today, and it was surrounded by uh, amethysts, and I've actually had it sitting here for a few minutes, um, charging up the little circle I've got. So I'm actually going to set up for what I'm going to do, and um, I will be right back in just a moment. Let this card represent the tools that I have at my disposal to change what I can change, to come back what I cannot change. Let me accept the changes that I have. Let me accept the tools that I have to use that I may use the ch that I may do the changes in my life. I ask this element of air to bless. I am the creator of my life. I honor my mind, my body, and my spirit. I ask for the universe to f help me find balance within my life, to help me understand the things I cannot change, and to understand why people do the things that they do, help me to not judge. I ask the universe with balance in my life I ask the element of air for blessings the chariot. I don't know where I'm going, but if I need to move somewhere, if I am being pointed into the direction that I need to move into, by the divine of the powers that be, I will not fight. I will go with the flow. I am open to travel, and I'm open to new direction. I ask for strength, emotional strength, physical strength, 
mind, body, and spirit strength. I ask of this a perfect love. I open my mind to my inner divine and my Christ consciousness. I am Alpha and Omega. I am Yin and Yang. I am black. I am white. I am above. I am below. Whatever judgment the universe has for me, good or bad, I accept it. So mote it be. I am the best person that I can be. I take control of circumstances which affect what are not part of my life. I shape them so that the greatest good results. I matter in all all ma I master all things because of strong will. I take care of the needs of my body and my soul. I look within myself to find serenity and knowledge. I move into the directions that I want to go in, and I make a transformation. I desire all within me to be whole. I will complete everything within me. I will accept everything within me. I live in balance within the world around me, and the world and all will be well in my world. This is what I ask with no harm to none. <laughs> 